Welcome to the Notes and Solutions for day 59 of our GCSE 5 a day. And the important word here is that this is shared equally. And whenever we have equal parts in a maths problem, it should be shouting out to us that we are going to be either multiplying or dividing. So I've drawn here a bar model of this problem. And you can see that our 68 is shared equally into four parts. And we're being asked, what is this one part that each person is paying? So what did I do to my bar? Well, I divided it into four pieces. So this is indeed a division calculation. So let's do that over here. How many fours go into six? One with the remainder two. How many fours go into 28? Seven. So 68 divided by four is 17. And what that's telling me is that each one of these parts here is 17. So our answer as to what does each person have to pay is 17 pounds. And a century nugget to go and practice similar questions is 3.13. Okay, question two, we've got to write an algebraic expression. And we've also got to read this question carefully because we're going from Antrim to Lisburn. So we're starting here and we're going to here. So this is the journey we're doing. So the first part of our journey is here. Here's the second part of our journey. So our algebraic expression. So the total distance here is 5a minus 4, which is from Antrim to Crumlin. And then we go an extra, so that's adding. We do an extra bit of our journey to Lisbon. We then collect our like terms together. So that's our 5a and 8a. So together that makes 13a take away 4. And that there is our answer. And Nuggets to go and practice on there, I think 17.01 and 17.02 on forming algebraic expressions. Okay, we have a time question and we start at 10.45 and we're going to go on 23 minutes from there. Okay, so the important thing that we need to remember is that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So to get to 11 o'clock, we've gone 15 minutes on. 45 and 15 make 60. Okay, so how, how far extra have we got to go? Well, that's 23 take away 15 is 8. So we've got to go on an extra 8 minutes and so that is still 11, 0, 8. And if you want to practice more questions on time, then ask your teacher to assign some to you with nugget 37.09. I hope you recognize by now that this is called a frequency tree. And we need to be able to work with these. So, 62 people took part, that's that number there. So that's already in our diagram. 43 of the people were women. 10 made it through to the final and the rest were eliminated. Okay, 10 people made it through to the final. Well, that's these two here. Ah, oh, three men made it through to the final. So if if it was 10 people getting through to the final, then that's three and seven. Okay, so when we work with frequency tables, we get given some inf information and we have to work out all the other missing bits. Now, if there were 62 people in total and we've got 43 women, then the rest must be men. So let's do that quick subtraction calculation. Okay, there we go. So 19. So we had 19 men, 
three got through to the final. So how many got were eliminated? Well, it's whatever's the rest. So that's 19 take away three, which is 16. Now, actually, that's what we were asked to calculate, wasn't it? How many men were eliminated? So there's our answer. 16. Nugget to go and practice. 46.10. Okay, well, this is a standard form question. And what we need to understand here, we need to understand our place value. Now, we're normally okay with our place value for numbers bigger than one. And the important thing is that these are getting 10 times bigger when we go from right to left. And if we go from left to right, they're 10 times smaller. So each time we go this way, we're going to divide by 10. So this is 1 over 10, 1 over 100, 1 over 1,000, and so on. Now let's look at these as powers of 10. 1,000 is 10 cubed, 10 squared, 10 to the power 1. Now everything to the power naught is 1, isn't it? So we've got 3, 2, 1, 0. Following that sequence down, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the negative 4, 10 to the negative 5, and so on. And the way standard form works is trying to tell us where this most significant number, so the first one from the first non-zero number counting from the left. So where does this 5 go? Well, it's telling us it goes into the 10 to the minus 4 column. So that's this one here. Anything that comes after it is going to come after it. So that's 5, 2. So that's our answer. The 5 and the 2 go in these two columns here. Now, in order to make sure that we realize what these columns are, we have to fill these columns with blank zeros as placeholders. So there we have it now. Our answer 0, 0, 0, 0. Five, two, and our nugget to go and practice is 14.03. That's the end of our notes and solutions for day 59. If you've got any further questions, please ask your maths teacher for help.